All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson tonight, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakudash. All right, also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, and many blessings unto the elect. All right, this is your brother Itazawam coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai with another lesson. And Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. All right, I'm going to just get right into it. Um, you know, I had actually I did this lesson earlier today, um, but, you know, I didn't upload it uh, because, you know, I, I wanted to kind of go a little more in depth, you know, through the spirit. I wasn't satisfied with the lesson that I did. Um, and it, it led me to, you know, just go a little deeper into um, what's going on. Now, this is an article from Forbes.com, as you can see in the headings. It says, why NASA will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse. Now, when you read the article, I'm not going to read through the article, but just to kind of give a brief summary. When you read through the article, um, they're saying that there's, they're testing sound rockets into the, sh the, the, the shadow of the, uh, of the moon. But we know in all actuality, um, you know, these devils want to try to take out the ordinances, uh, the heavenly uh, celestial bodies of light that the Lord created. These devils want to try to, you know, take those ordinances out of existence uh, to try the words of the Lord. As a matter of fact, let me get the scripture to prove that. Um, you know, so when they put these little articles and these little tidbits out there, and then they try to say, oh, well, we're not actually shooting it directly at the moon or directly at the stars or sun. We know in all actuality they are. You okay? Because the, the, the key agenda behind the, the, the globalist elite banking families is they want total, complete dominance. And in order for them to achieve that, they would have to destroy uh, the nation of Israel, which are you blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. So let me get a quick scripture real quick in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, I believe it's, let me try 31. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 31 and 35. It says, Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon, and of the stars for a light by night which divide up the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. So these devils will try to put the words of the, uh, of the Lord to, uh, to use. Okay, they'll try to test his words to see um, if it's true. But the Lord is not going to create a way for them to, to, to destroy those ordinances because the scriptures tell you that the Lord will not um, cast his seed uh, off totally. Okay? The scriptures tell you is um, in, in the book of, uh, I think it's Romans the 11th chapter, um, it says, has the Lord cast away his people? The scripture says, God forbid, for I am also a, a Benjamite of the tribe of Israel, roughly paraphrased, and that was Paul speaking. So the Lord is not, is not prophesied or written of in the scriptures anywhere that the seed of Israel will perish forever. But it's written that the seed of E will perish forever. But the the, 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 the rulers, the ones that's that's in, in rulership right now, the rulers of darkness, they're trying their hardest and damnest to, to take out the children of Israel. Okay? So what I wanted to do in this article, of course, we read the headings, and they're trying to fire uh, three rockets at the at the solar eclipse, which I, I perceive in the spirit that they're trying to actually, you know, shoot into the, the actual sun or the moon. OK, I perceive that in the spirit because these devils, man, they like I said, they're in a real diabolical state of mind right now. So what I want to read right here is the serpent deity, because they named this project after a serpent deity that goes back to ancient Egyptian. Okay, now it says the Space Agency's project, which atmospheric per perturbations around the eclipse path, will investigate how the drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's upper atmosphere. Apep is named after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, the nemesis of the sun deity Ra. So if they were actually trying to work in cohesion and cooperation with the sun, why would they name this project after the arch nemesis of the sun, according to Egyptian mythology? So we know that there is an adverse vibration operating 
through uh, Esau. Okay? That tells you everything you need to know right there. Okay? They call the actual project of shooting the missiles uh, into the, the, the path of the eclipse. They call that APEP. Okay? Which is named after a serpent. Alright, now let's get a little bit of information on APEP. Alright, this is APEP. Also, a Pepe, APEP, ancient Egyptian. All right, now look at what it what it means. It says, "Was the Egyptian deity who embodied darkness and disorder, and was thus the opponent of light." You see that? So they're trying their best, you know, to 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 take the spirit of Yahweh Bashimawa Shai out of the earth. So that's why I perceived through the spirit why the, the spirit had Apostle Tahar coined this year. The year, the, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Because the Lord is getting ready to bring wrath upon Jake. Okay? Now look, look what else it means. The Lord of Chaos was seen as a giant snake or serpent leading such titles as serpent from the Nile or an evil dragon. Alright? This is the book of Revelations chapter 12 and I'm going to start at verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. Who is that old serpent? We're going to get it in the scriptures. But that old serpent is talking about the serpent in the garden. The evil, wicked spirit that beguiled Eve and which Eve beguiled Adam. That old serpent grew into a beast with seven heads and ten horns. Okay? The kingdom of the Edomites. Okay, called the devil and Satan. Now, when you go into history, um, back during the time of, of Judea, during uh, in, in, during the Roman Empire, the Jews referenced um, the, 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 uh, the serpent in the garden. They referenced him as the devil. Okay, it was it was a common saying amongst the Jews back in Rome. Okay, they were called the old serpent. They would call him the devil. Because he was adverse unto Adam. Okay? It says, and Satan, the word Satan in the Hebrew, Shatan, which means adversary. And that serpent is adversarial to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shot. Okay? It says, which deceiveth the whole world. That's in the book of Isaiah 25 and 7, or 27 and 5, one or the other, where it says the covering that was cast over the people. The earth is destroyed. I mean, so like the earth. Um, is in the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And not where and who is he? There's a spirit of deception in the earth. That's being uh, uh, operated. Under the, 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 the governance of Esau. Continuing on. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Meaning he's going to fall out of his rulership. So this is just going to be another. Uh, charge. Against Esau. And there's going to be events that's going to take place after this solar eclipse. Profound events, I perceive in the spirit. Okay? Because we're in that time frame, man. We're, we're seeing the judgments of Yahweh Bashanah Washai ramping up. Okay? You see what just happened in Baltimore the other day with the bridge. Okay? So this thing is getting ready to spill over, man. All right? Now, going back to the serpent. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord power had made. Now, that serpent, like I said, in this particular chapter, is talking about a particular man that approached Eve in the garden while Adam wasn't around and beguiled her, deceived her. That's why in the book of Revelations, it comes full circle. That same serpent, going back to the book of Genesis, is getting ready to be called out. Is getting ready to be cast out. Okay. So it went from one man to a whole alliance of governance. Of governments. Salaki. Okay. He says, and he said unto the woman. Who is the woman? Eve. Yea. Hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Absolutely. But see what he was doing. He was playing games. As Esau does now, he played mind games, man. Social engineering, 
deception, witchcraft, sorcery, divinations. Okay, when you go into the word NASA, is actually a Hebrew word for bagal or deceive. It's an asha in the Hebrew. Okay, and it means to beguile or deceive. As a matter of fact, I'll prove it. All right, let's jump down to verse 13. Uh, Genesis 3 and 13. And the Lord said unto the woman, what is, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And this is literally talking. She didn't actually eat of actual fruit. She ate of the, the spirit of deception that, that he was teaching her. So there was a particular teaching or, or doctrine that the serpent was coming with that was trying to uproot everything that Adam was doing. And she actually took that information and she told Adam and Adam applied that into his rulership. And it deceived the world. Because that little leaven that that serpent came with through Eve and through Adam, it, it, it created a, a great mess that we still trying to clean up to this day. But it was it was fulfilled. When Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he he became he 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 made it right. Okay, so let's go down to the word beguiled. See that it says NASA right? Now is is it fitting that NASA is the one that's firing the rockets into the solar eclipse and? It's, he, he's calling this particular project, okay, after a serpent deity. Come on, man. You can't make it up. Notice it's talking about the serpent. It's talking about the serpent, man. So, of course, when I read the headings, you know, that's what they're trying to do. But then when you go into the article and say, well, no, nah, we really just firing sound rockets into the moon shadow. We ain't really shooting in it no nah, bro you deceiving you're trying it we know we don't put nothing past you devils okay matter of fact we'll prove it psalm 64 and 5 they encourage themselves in an evil matter they commune of laying snares privately they say who shall see them okay they search out iniquities so we know that you search out iniquities man OK, we know you're trying to do this. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that they're supposed to be firing up uh, the particle collider uh, the same day as the solar eclipse when they're trying to, you know, shoot rockets into the missile. So there's a lot of left hand vibrations and energies that's being conjured up right now. So that's why we got to stay locked into the spirit through prayer, you know, through fasting, your meditation, things of that nature. OK, because we're coming into that time, man. Esau is going to try to prohibit us from teaching his word. All right. It says. Um, it says they search out iniquities. They, they accomplish a diligent search. Meaning they've given themselves over to the search of iniquity. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. That's why it goes into what? OK, it says the heart of them is very deep. Going back, Genesis 3 and 1. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Let's get the word subtle. All right, the Hebrew word there is Arawam. All right, Arawam. Uh, and it says what? Subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, prudent. Diligent search, man. Okay, nigga, the gay, they, nigga, the gay, they minded that they mind has been given over to, to uh, to wickedness. Okay, their heart is deep. It's prudent. The word prudent means diligent. Okay, so they're very sly and sensible, man. They're crafty. It makes sense, but in all actuality, they're trying to uproot the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. They've been trying to do that shit from the beginning. But this is going to be another charge against these devils, man. Okay? Book of Revelations 12 and 9 again. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent. Now it makes sense. The old serpent written of here in the book of what? Genesis, the third chapter. Okay? Right here. 
This is the old serpent that is talking about right here. That man, that evil, wicked spirit that progressed into NATO. Okay. Final scripture, because it's fitting to bring this scripture out because in the same chapter where it's going into the great dragon, the devil, uh, there's mentioned Michael. Now, Michael is the appointed angel to protect the children of Israel. Okay. So notice that Michael is going to stand up against the serpent in a particular time. Now, let's figure out that particular time is talking about the time of the end, which we're in. So that's how you know that this has to be talking about the current rulers. This is the book of Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince will stand before thy children of the people. And there shall be a time of trouble. Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Such as was never since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So prepare your souls to see and witness evil to see wickedness to see left hand uh, energies manifesting in the earth to see death to see famine starvation pestilence but just know that in the midst of all of these things Yahweh Bashim Awashai Bashim Kakodash is going to protect his election so with that I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Awashai Bashim Kakodash double honors once more to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and many blessings to the elect Shalom.